Hey guys, it's Paul here from One World Confused. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we are unboxing and we're going to give you a quick overview of the new Protect Home Alert System. Ignore the dinosaur of awesome. Sorry. Yes, the new Home Alert, alert self install at Intruder Alarm. Now, this is a plug and play system. You literally slap it into the telephone line and bang, you're done. You can add things like smoke alarms. So you can you can have two way monitoring rings optional. You don't have to have that, but I'm actually getting a, tr a trial of this to see how it works. In the box itself for this kit right here, you have a hub which connects to the telephone service, a door entry, a door monitoring system or device, two PAR sensors, and two key fobs, including panic buttons. Now the first things first, I'll show you what you actually get in part in the in the box when you open it is the information from the company itself, confidential confidential details forms, system registration, which you can do online a lot easier, and direct debit paperwork for obviously paying for the monitoring system, which is all pretty good. I'm I'm still researching the payment system. I'm sure it's a um, as you need it uh, service, so I will confirm that later. Nor my Tommy toys in the background. Right. Now, here is the hub itself. You see, it looks like an easy port actually. Shall I have to double check that? Now, anyway, that's the um, hub itself. It looks like it's got an Ethernet port on the back, but why did it have a telephone port on it? Oh, anyway, we'll, we'll investigate that later. You've got your AC in, your Ethernet port or telephone port, depending on what it is. Sure, it's telephone, but we'll double check later. Uh, equipment there, which I'll look in the manual for in a moment. And a battery slot under here for backup purposes. You get two key fobs. You get two key fobs. In, out, panic, sleep mode. You actually get a screwdriver to come with it to set everything up. I like that. It's also got a hex key on the end as well. That might have come in very useful. Um, You get a 9 volt rechargeable battery for the actual hub itself, so I like that. Um, double A's and triple A's, um, huge brand. They look a bit like Duracell, so I'm hoping they'll run similarly. If not, I'm not going to complain. But they batteries, they do their job. You do get um, stickers or sticky pads to actually mount things up on the wall and the telephone cable as we've mentioned already it's got the BT end on it and an RJ11 on the end I can't remember what the, um, the BT side standard is and if you're on ADSL you will need your filter so they've actually supplied an extra one please ensure it's compatible with your ADSL equipment because some are slightly different and they can have different circuitry which can affect your, your line your telephone an extra telephone splitter so can easily plug straight into there, your main telephone there and out. That's going to make my thing stick out wild, but it's all good. I'm sure I've got a flat one. Here's your door sensor and your magnet. Position the magnet goes there. So if anyone's open, boop, 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 and the world blows up. And your passive infrared, yes, your mo motion sensors in your home. Standard affair, they look pretty good. Got the CE mark on them, again, that's a good thing. And I'm sure if I do these right, they can sit in the corner of, my, of the living room very happily with no hassle. So, that is a very quick unboxing of this. My opinion so far is it's not bad. It looks like a nice bit of kit, to be fair. It really does. It looks well thought out. The actual time that the research the research have done into this to make it entirely plug and play, I think, is really good. So. Oh, also, like I said, you do get mounting screws for things that require screwing in. So with the magnet, you get mounting screws. You also get mounting screws hidden inside here for this part as well. So I actually really do like that. 
Um, so there will be a large review on this over the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna do. I'm even gonna try and do a fake break into my own home. Sod's law now. I'm gonna get broken into. Oh yeah! Before I forget, I'm stupid to not show you the power brick. Nine volts. No, fifteen volts at one point five amp. And the. That's pretty good actually for 1.5 amps, 15 volts. I could use that power PC. <laughs> anyway, I think over the next few weeks we're going to have some fun with this. We're going to test it out properly. And then I will come back to you and give you my full and utmost review of the ProTech Home Alert self install alarm system. This is Paul signing out. Have a fantastic day.